What's going on, Creative Crew? Welcome back to another video. Jay the Creative here, and today we're gonna be talking about why you really don't need a pop filter for your mixes. Now, I know I'm probably going to get into a lot of trouble with this video. There are a lot of audio engineers, a lot of audio engineering schools, just a lot of literature saying that you should be putting a pop filter in front of your microphone. But what that does is it's kind of a crutch for actually utilizing mic technique. So this, as we all know, is a microphone. And how you typically use it is you would just place it in front of you and you would speak directly into the microphone just like this. But the issue is when we get to words that have plosives like P's or B's, anything where you have a burst of wind accompanying that actually word or that letter, that burst of wind hits the capsule of the microphone and you hear a plosive in your mix. So most of the time what people say is put a pop filter up in front of your microphone and then that burst of wind will hit the pop filter and it'll break it apart and then you don't have to worry about it getting in your mix. But there is a way to get rid of plosives where you don't have to do that. First, we understand what plosives are. It's simply a burst of wind, and that burst of wind goes forward. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to have a microphone. Let's turn it back this way. You take your microphone, instead of placing it directly in front of you, you move it slightly over to the right or to the left, and then you twist it back towards you. When you do that, you're removing the capsule from directly in front of the burst of, where, of air that accompanies those plosives. And then you are also still allowing it to capture your voice because of the pickup pattern that the microphone has. By doing this, you don't need a pop filter. All right, so what is the point of the pop filter? Why does everybody say to have it? Number one, it means that you don't have to teach unexperienced artists how to actually utilize the microphone. So most of the time when you have someone come into the studio, they're not gonna understand mic technique even if you do. And you don't wanna have to take the time to explain every single time that the microphone is not in front of you, it's to the side, but still sing straight. You don't wanna have to do that, it's annoying, it can waste time. So you put it straight on, you put a pop filter up in front of it, and Bob's your uncle, you're good to go. The second reason why most people use pop filters is because it allows a good distance between the singer and the actual microphone. A lot of the time, singers will sing right on top of the microphone. And what that does is it causes the proximity effect where the bass frequencies are very hyped and that might not be something that you want. So in order to push them away from the microphone, you have up a pop filter. This mesh screen literally makes it so that they cannot get any closer to the microphone, making your job easier making the vocals sound cleaner, and once again, making it so that you don't have to teach them any type of actual mic technique. And last but not least, the third reason that people use pop filters is because unfortunately, it's an optics thing. They look good. People and artists expect to see a pop filter, so when they don't, they wonder why it's not there, they ask a lot of questions, they see the pop filter, they think it's more professional, they think it's fancier, all of this. So a lot of the time, we'll throw a pop filter up just so that we can have it there, just as a way to see the artist, at least, to see that there's a pop filter there. Now, all of this doesn't explain the reason why pop filters actually exist. And that goes back to the beginning of microphones. Microphones, when they were first created, were extremely sensitive. Ribbon microphones and tube condenser microphones. If you got spit into those microphones or condensation or any type of moisture, it would more than likely destroy the microphone. So what the pop filter was there for is to capture that spit, capture that extra hot, breathy air, and make it so that it doesn't get into the microphone, therefore destroying the microphone itself. Capturing the plosives was just a side benefit. Now, am I saying that they don't work? Absolutely not. They will work to help capture the plosives, but a lot of the time they cause more trouble than they're worth. For example, when you get a metal mesh screen, a lot of the time you can actually hear that sound of that metallic sound from the air hitting the pop filter coming into the microphone. And sometimes when you get a mesh pop filter, depending on how tightly woven that mesh is, it doesn't even work and you need to like double layer them up. All of this to say, you don't need to get a pop filter. As long as you learn about proper mic technique, you can get away with not having a pop filter in front of your microphone at all. So just remember the proper microphone technique, okay? Hold up that microphone, move it a little over to the left or to the right, whichever you want, and simply tilt it back towards you. 
When you do that, the pickup pattern is still going to capture your voice, the instrument, whatever that source is, as well as those plosives, those bursts of air are not going to hit directly onto the capsule, so therefore you're not going to get that effect. Thank you guys for joining. This was Jay back with the Skyline Collective. So happy to be spending some more time. Hope that you guys got something good out of this. If you did, you know what to do. If you want, go ahead and click on that subscribe button, like this video, definitely helps me out a lot. And I'm going to have a lot more of these informal type videos out. I wanna be able to teach you guys, but I, I've been spending so long stressing about getting the set right, getting the lighting just right, doing everything perfectly. No, I'm, I'm just gonna be setting up a camera. And we're gonna be chatting. I'm gonna teach you something. I hope that you guys enjoy. I'll catch you guys in the next video.